What's up guys, Curtis here, bringing you a brand new video on my new channel, Matador Dart. Um, today I'm going to be comparing a 180 Zoom 21 grams to my match darts and seeing if these darts, which were 6 99 are any good. I'll put the eBay listing on screen. These are a straight barrel dart with a standard ring grip, as you can see here. Um, sorry, the light is a bit harsh. Um, I will sort that for future videos. Um, but yeah, they're a standard ring grip dart. Similar to what you see, Wayne Mardle's Legend Darts, uh, Eric Bristow's, Keith Dellers, um, all pretty standard ring grip darts. They come with a long 180 stem and also these very, very cheap flights. And obviously, as you saw, they came in one of these plastic cases. Um, for 6 dollars just off the bat, they look pretty decent. Um, I will say... Uh, they're not too grippy. I think the grooves probably aren't as wide as what you would see on a sort of Wayne Mardle or Eric Bristow dart. Uh, the wider the ring generally, the grippier it is. Um, the long stems I'm not a fan of, but I will play with the long stems just to test them out as set up. And also the flights are very, very thick. It's almost like two sort of um, separate prints have been stuck together. And you can almost tell uh, that. Uh, that does mean they do stay in the flight pretty well. Uh, you won't need to punch them. And I'll probably say these darts would be good for a pub or if you've got kids or if you know you have someone coming around who doesn't have their own set of darts. Uh, just to have about the house if you're playing against them at home. Um, but yeah, for 6 99 I don't think you go too wrong. What we're going to do is play three legs with these and three legs with my match darts, which are these Red Dragon Rebel 21 gram. What I will say the main difference is is... These are very grippy, uh, they're a tw twin ring grip dart, and also I use a much longer point as you can see here. Um, I use a 40mm point and these are probably, I would say a 26 to 28mm point, maybe even shorter than that, because the nose cone does sort of hide the point a bit. But um, yeah, these darts should be okay to use, I'm going to put them on the board now and see how they go. So yeah, first three legs we're going to be using my Red Dragon Rebel 21 grams. As you can see, uh, as I mentioned in the video, the points are a bit longer. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and then the second or third three legs, we're going to be using the 180 zooms. Also, guys, just before I mention, as I said, I've got the board set up. This is the 180 Gladiator 3 board. Uh, I've been using this for the last month and a half or so. Uh, and before that, for two months roughly, I had a Windmore Blade 5. Uh, the next video on this channel will actually be a Winmore Blade 5 versus 180 Gladiator 3 uh, board comparison. We're going to get into this now with three legs with the Red Dragon Rebel 21 grams, which are my match darts. There's the first leg done, 32 darts, that's it, which is pretty poor for me. Look at that, 64 in three. That's more like it, a 24 dart leg.
so as you can see those are my stats from those three legs i believe the recording kind of messed up in the third leg um it was a pretty poor leg i threw something like 30 plus darts again after a 24 dart leg i was stuck on double five um as you can see one ton plus one one forty um just below average for me i'd say uh over a three leg duration uh, i'd probably expect to hit sort of, sort of a ton per leg um at least um i averaged 31 darts a leg which again is pretty poor for me so yeah pretty poor but hopefully with the 180 zooms will be a bit more warmed up and we might run it close okay so we're now running with the 180 zoom Two sixties in a row, I think I might be getting used to them. There we go, double ten in forty darts. Probably the worst leg of five oh one I played since I got back into darts in December. As you can see, I cut it out early at one leg each, just because I was playing so poorly with these darts. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a reflection of the darts themselves, though. they're actually pretty well made. Um, I think the thing that let me down the most was just the long stems. If you were to buy these darts, I would put your own short stems on them. So for 6 dollars I'd say these darts are pretty good, but not for experienced players at all. And also change the stems and probably the flights as well whilst you're at it. But yeah, guys, that's going to do for this video. Thanks for watching. The next video is going to be this 180 Gladiator 3 versus my Winmore Blade 5. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and also share the video around the darts community. And I will see you next time.